Happy Wednesday, everyone. Today, keeping with our World Water Day theme for the month of March, I have chosen the book Drop. And this is an adventure through the water cycle, and it's by Emily Kate Moon. This is water. Hi, I'm Drop. Drop lives here on planet Earth. She has been here about 4 billion 500 million years. I'm four and a half billion. Drop has seen a thing or two. Oh, hello there. She has lounged in every lake, luxury, and soaked in every sea. So much sea to see. Drop spends most of her time in the ocean. She rides wild waves. Woohoo! and drifts on gentle currents. Sweet! She sunbathes on the surface of the sea. Ah, this is sea life. The sun fills Drop with energy. She gets all warm and wiggly. Then she pops up the surface of the water and floats into the air. Mm, all bouncy pouncy, poof, here I go. Invisible Drop bounces around the air for days. Abracadabra. When she gets colder and less bouncy, she reappears from teeny tiny droplets. Ta-da! Her friends show up too. Drop and her friends like to get together and hang out. Bonding time. When a lot of them get together, they make clouds. Clouds are cool. A crowded cloud can become quite an event. Drop and her friends bounce around so much that they create sparks. Eek! Their clouds turn electric. Downright shocking. It can get loud and dark, but Drop hangs in there. We got this. She knows it will all be worth it because that's when Drop gets to be rain. Yee. Drop has been every kind of rain there is. Sprinkling, drizzling, pouring. Sprinkalicious, drippity drip, splishy splash. She's been hail and snow too. Drop loves the adventure of it. Snow day, ice fall. She never knows where she'll fall. If she makes it to a mountain, she may slip into a stream. Trickity trickle. Dive off a cliff. Super drop, roll down a river. Yes, and land in a lake. Hi, new home. If she freezes into snow or ice, she may be stuck somewhere for thousands of years. Brr. Drop has been glaciers. Are we there yet? And icebergs. Guess I gotta be cool with this for a long, long time. If she falls in a forest, she may trickle down a tree and soak into the soil. Hi there. She could sink down to the bedrock and rest with the groundwater. Or she could get pulled in by roots sucked up through stems, and pushed out through a leaf. What a ride, up, 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 getting back to my roots. Everywhere she flows, Drop keeps things moving. She even moves through plants and animals. So busy. Drop travels from flower nectar to bees and butterflies. Look at those wings. She fills fruit with juice for birds and bears. And you know who else? You! Every time you eat or drink, Drop also gets to flow into you. And that's when a whole new adventure begins. Woohoo! The end! I hope you enjoyed this book about Drop, the water um, adventure through the water cycle. Bye bye!